Hey you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. And right now we are on our day three of our Utah road trip and we are exploring Valley of the Gods. <laughs> you guys we are in Valley of the Gods right now this is Giselle's first time driving the off-road and trails Woo -hoo. Woo. this area is insane everyone says it's like mini Monument Valley and that's basically what I thought of it what you think it's pretty crazy these things are huge and this is like small for that so yeah it was crazy anyway we are on uh, the dirt road. Sorry for the shaky footage. We have spent all day in Canyonlands exploring one of the most fun off-roading trips I have done in a while. We are headed to Gooseneck State Park and then gonna finish off the day with Sunset in Monument Valley. Outside of Monument Valley. Yeah, it's closed right now. So we're just gonna go to the Forest Gump Hill, hang out there, and then in the day, this is day three. Third full day of our Utah road trip. We got three more. Alright you guys, we're here at Gooseneck State Park. Yes, so it's basically like a horseshoe bend, but less popular. And honestly, like from the photos we've looked at, it looks a little less grand, but it's still really cool. A little U-shape of the Colorado River, um, or it's the Green River. It's one of those. I'm not 100% positive. Yeah, it's a beautiful little overlook. It's hard to capture because it's so wide. But there are some really cool areas off to the left of it and to the right of it, especially during sunset time. It's beautiful. Faces the same way that Horseshoe Bend does. So if you're looking for a spot to camp, that is where we camped one of the nights. It's really nice and cheap. And it's like it's, $10. And it's super convenient. It's right next to Monument Valley. Like it's a 25 minute drive. Yeah, it's pretty close to Horseshoe Bend and everything and going towards Page. So make sure you guys add it to your hit list if you guys are cruising out there. Next up, we are headed over to Monument Valley for sunset and we're gonna go check out Forest Gump Road. Um, it's just a little bit a ways and Monument Valley proper is actually closed because of COVID so we're just gonna check out the road and um, we're actually gonna be doing the same thing for sunrise tomorrow and then we'll be on our way ah, shit, <laughs> Monument Valley was beautiful for sunset. We're also gonna be seeing it tomorrow morning for sunrise and really excited. Like I said, we're camping here at Gooseneck State Park. Should be really nice and relaxing. Not too many people here. And the nice thing about it is it's really, really convenient. The road is right there. It's also next to Valley of the Gods, which is a BLM land where you can stay. We just voted to go for Gooseneck State Park because it's a little bit closer to Monument Valley where we're doing our sunrise tomorrow morning. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, G. Good morning. We are cruising. This is our morning view. We are here in Monument Valley. It is day four. Four? Day four. This is day four. Of our road Let's trip. See. Day one was Bryce. Day two was Arches. Day no, three day was... Day two is Canyon Lake. No. Capitol Reef. Day, Day two is three Capital, was Arches. Arches and Canyonlands. Canyon Day four is Monument Valley, Buckskin Gulch, Toadstool, Hoodoos, Hoodoos and Snow yeah, spots. just hanging out. We're going to shoot sunset tonight at Horseshoe Bend, which we're very excited for and interested to see how busy it is on a Sunday night. <laughs> yes, we've encountered like two other places just like it, so we'll see if it's really worth the hype. Very um, true. Yeah, but we're excited to be here. We're taking our touristy picture on Forest Gump Road here. Yes, there's like a few other people out here, but it's beautiful. Sun, um, sunset, sunset was busy. and sunrise, honestly, both so beautiful. Just depends what you're looking for. You've got some nice golden light or some nice red light, red glow on the mountains, but should be fun. We got a little two hour drive after this. 
Yep. Off we go. Here we go. We are off on another hike. We just went through Page. We are on our way to Toadstool. Guys, it's hot. It's really freaking hot. We just finished our hike. We started today off at Monument Valley, shot sunrise, drove through Page, made it into Arizona, and then we stopped at Toadstool. Which is back in Utah. It was a pretty cool hike, really, really interesting. Um, rock formations. I think it's good to do if you're gonna do for like sunrise or blue hour, but don't do it in the middle of the day. It's not worth way, it in the middle of the day. Yeah, way too hot. It's okay. Highly recommend doing the wire pass trail though to Buckskin Gulch. Yeah, that one's the shortest. Buckskin Gulch is like over 20 miles long. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to do a backpacking trip, highly recommend it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's but... one of the longest slot canyons in the world. Yeah, we just did a quick little day trip. It took us about a couple of hours just because we lingered and shot some stuff and inside the slot canyons it's actually really nice and cool mm -hmm. but it's hot as balls everywhere else so yeah so we're just gonna be cruising we're gonna take a drive through the vermilion cliff scenic loop come all the way out and end today at horseshoe, horseshoe bend. bend should be a fun day here we go We are now at the Vermilion Cliffs. Check these out. This is a national monument. It's pretty cool. Beautiful, beautiful scenic drive. You can take the full loop. So we started in Page. We headed west. We made a left and then made our way all the way to Highway 89. We are now heading back, going to Marble Canyon, which is another part of the loop. A beautiful day. I mean, the cliffs are just so red. Pretty epic spot. Look at all of the people. Hey you guys, we are here at Horseshoe Bend. And we just had a really cool sunset here. It was totally busy, so I recommend getting here early so you can scout out your prime viewing spot. It was a little ridiculous. There's gotta be like a thousand people here at minimum. <laughs> then again, it's Labor Day weekend, so. True, and it's a Sunday. If you come midweek, it's usually not that bad, but uh, we looked at Dead Horse Point and Goose Neck State Park, and now Horseshoe Bend. This is the best view. Yeah, I think we both we both were like, eh, it's a horseshoe, it's probably overhyped. It's overhyped, but it's pretty ridiculous. Highly so, recommend checking it out. If you want no crowds, come here around sunrise. You'll get less crowds and still a similar view to sunset, but yeah, definitely check it out. We're off to our campsite tonight. Yes, this and is then, the end of our day four. Yeah, it's the end of our day four Utah slash Arizona road trip. <laughs> now Arizona. We've been in and out of the border all day. Yo, the time change is screwing with <laughs> It literally would be on one side of the river and it would say it's six o'clock and then the other side would say it's five and then we'd walk across and do some shots and it would change. It was really confusing. It was all over the place, but still really, really fun day. We did all we saw all the vermilion cliffs tomorrow we're going to be doing some kayaking through antelope canyon. canyon i'm so excited i love kayaking we're crossing our fingers that we can record there so we hopefully will be able to show you that tomorrow and we'll see you tomorrow for our next adventure see you guys later all right we are out here we are going kayaking today Woohoo! gee how you feeling Yo, we're still out here. We're gonna be doing about two and a half hours of paddling. And Should cliff be, jumping. And cliff jumping. These cliffs right behind us over here are where we are gonna be doing our cliff jumping. Should be a super fun morning. We're out here. Uh, the time change has been a little brutal. So apparently on Lake Powell, you're in Arizona time. Once you leave Lake Powell, like you're a mile Utah. outside, you're in Utah time. So we've been trying to figure out like, um, what time to get to everything. It's been a little brutal, but still been super enjoyable morning. Ready? Ready, three, two, one, one go! Woo! Woo! One, go! 
go out there? How you feeling, G? Labor Day. We just finished an epic morning out on the water. We went to Lake Powell for sunrise, decided to not shoot anything but just take our time. Also, we were confused about the time change, so. Yeah, okay, so the time change in Lake, if you're at Lake Powell, you're in Arizona time frame. If you pass Lake Powell and you go to Lone Rock Point and beyond that, you're in Utah time. So we were super confused. We ended up just showing up there super, super Like an early. hour early because and our phones kept on going back and forth and they were confused. So yeah, just so you know. It was all over the place. Uh, really, really cool though. We did an excursion with um, Hidden Valley or Hidden, Hidden Canyon. Canyon kayaking. We went out and actually kayaked through the Antelope Wash. So it was pretty cool. We did some cliff jumping. We both jumped from 25 feet. It was yeah, fun. it was awesome. Our tour guide was really, really cool. Yeah, and we ended up hit, giving these people. Um, we picked up hitchhikers. Yeah, they their car. They woke up and they had a huge flat tire, so they hitchhiked over there. And we had four people in the back of the four runner, all on our but bed, it was just great. It was crunched. A bonding experience. It was hilarious. They were really cool people. Did a lot of traveling. Good connecting with them. Um, and yeah, it's been a. Nice little evening. We slept at Walmart. If you guys didn't know, you can sleep at Walmart for free. So we for just one night. yeah. So we just camped in the back of the Forerunner. It was nice and easy. Giselle got this behemoth. It keeps our water cold all day. It's awesome. Giselle is a. Is I crazy. love cold water. Lukewarm water is just trash. That's all I'm saying. So we are on our way to Flagstaff. Sadly, Highway 63 going into the Grand Canyon is closed. So. We have to take a little bit longer a route, detour. but should be nice. We heard Flagstaff's pretty awesome. Our guide gave us some cool food recommendations, and then we're gonna be cruising into the Grand Canyon. See you there. Where are we? We are finally in the Grand Canyon. We just went into Flagstaff, had a delicious Mexican meal. We are on our way into see sunset. We got here at about 4.30, so we got a few hours to, two hours to chill, relax, check everything out, and then we'll be here till tomorrow. What? That's a fat deer. Is that a deer? I, I can't know. tell. I keep driving though. <laughs> what? All right, you guys, we are here. It is 5.30. The shuttles are not running on the west, Hermit Road. It's the west side of the village between, usually it's not just COVID that they do this, but I believe it was like March to October, this shuttle doesn't yeah, run. Yeah, but, no, 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 it usually runs, but it, um, right now it's not running for whatever reason. You can never drive on this road though. So, we got about a two mile trek. Hopefully we make it in time for sunset. It is hazy. super hazy and smoky out. Shout out to the California, California and Colorado fires for screwing it up. <laughs> but should still be a nice little walk. We're excited to be here. Never been here before. Here we go. Steven forgot the tripod and you can see him running all the way down there through the trees to go grab it. Pretty comical. There he is. <laughs> we already did about a half mile of hiking. Whoa. It is so hazy. What did we learn? Always bring the tripod. And? The shuttle brush is working. <laughs> <laughs>
Well guys, this was not the sunset we deserved. <laughs> but it was what we got. <laughs> it was, we drove out here, it's been a, it started off really, really nice. Beautiful, nice morning, even though we woke up super early for our kayak. The kayaking was really fun on Lake Powell. Uh, cruised out to Flagstaff. Had a fantastic lunch. The Mexican, mm. what was the place called? Um, Martans. Martans. Mexican place. Shout out to Martans. You guys were fantastic. Really vibey place. Super cool spot. Would love to go back there again. Grand Canyon was really dead. There's literally no one here. And everything's, the visitor center is closed. Yeah, in Utah, everything was open. All the park rangers were super helpful. Stickers, of course. Steven said he didn't get his stickers. And you come here, nothing's open. Everyone's like, it seems really eerie. Maybe it's just the smoke and the haziness and it's bringing everyone down. I don't know, but it was a really weird vibe. Hoping for some good vibes tomorrow. We're gonna go find a camp spot and chillax. Hoping that it t there's supposed to be a cold front coming in. What'd they say? It said it's supposed to be 30 degrees cooler tomorrow. That's crazy. Anyway, so hopefully the, it's pretty windy right now. Hopefully the wind blows everything out and tomorrow will be an awesome sunrise. And if not, we'll still be out here. Should be a fun day exploring the Grand Canyon. All right, you guys, we just want to go try and watch sunrise. On the Grand Canyon. The fire's just completely ruined it. You can't see more than like the outline of all the way across the village, which sucks. Yeah, you can't even see the bottom of the Grand Canyon, as you can see from the footage. But anyway, still a phenomenal trip. Kind of a bummer to end like this, but it was an amazing, amazing trip. Uh, we started all the way in Bryce, came all the way back around, saw some awesome stuff we i've never done the full utah road trip so it was perfect yeah definitely super fun trip highly recommend doing a similar itinerary or doing the loop in reverse really we could have added zion but we just did zion last year so we figured we wanted to see a bunch more stuff mm -hmm. and we'll definitely be coming back to the grand canyon to hopefully come when it's not smoked out. Yes, definitely we'll be coming back. We did hike Havasupe, which is part of the Grand Canyon, so we can say that we went down to the Grand Canyon last year. But anyway, if you guys have any questions about anywhere we went, or if you guys have any comments about your favorite spot in Utah, leave them below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. If you watched the whole video to this point, thank you for watching the super long vlog. I'm sure it was, it'll probably be a little bit longer than usual, but this road trip was six days, our biggest road trip together so far. And we will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye. Bye.